Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be talking about the 1937D Buffalo Nickel. Now I've got one right here in my hands. There's a few of them that are going to be worth way more than the rest because of what's known as a cherry picker variety that can be found by looking closely at the coin. And I'm going to show you where on this coin that does not have the variety to be looking for it. And then after that, we'll get into a PowerPoint presentation where we've got some really clear up close photos that I'll talk you through, as well as the values at different um, condition points because that can really make a difference but let's get right into this video so that you never miss what you need to know on your 1937d buffalo nickels there's some pretty significant ones you've heard of three-legged before but we'll walk through that and then get into some other stuff that you want to know And here is our 1937D Buffalo Nickel, and we're going to be headed to the back for this one. We're going to be looking for both a three-legged version where there's not, you know, there's only three legs. That front leg is going to basically have disappeared. Um, and then there's also going to be a variety on the mint mark, a relatively prominent repunched mint mark uh, that you're going to want to be looking for. So um, we'll check out both of those in the presentation. Let me show you just what they look like. And here we've got the famous three-legged buffalo nickel. It's going to be 1937D. There's going to be no front leg, maybe the outline of a hoof, but you're also seeing a little weakness in the back part. Um, and, you know, this is just super, super cool. Uh, one of the coins that you first hear about when you're collecting coins, especially one of the first varieties. Um, and it's a $500 coin in VF as opposed to like $1 for a regular 1937D. That really climbs nicely, though, in the upper range, getting to 1000 bucks in AU53, 5000 in Mint State 63, 22000 guys, for a Mint State 65. So that is just a massive difference. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people have looked for it, though, so there might be less opportunity. But a lot of people just look for the three-legged buffalo nickel. They miss something like uh, repunched mint marks. And these are not even FS listed. Uh, it's just certified by NGC. The values on these probably like 15 bucks in uh, VFX, or, yeah, VFXF, I'd say. Um, and maybe in like the, you know, uh, two or three times multiplier in mint state in terms of the value. But a really nice, strong um, east-west repunching here. Um, then this one similar, but uh, a little bit different in terms of how it ends up presenting um, on the, you know, a second one. And then this third, again, east west, this one's a little bit more though, um, on the uh, southeast. So that's that. Then we get to the last one, I would say that this has even slightly more value than the preceding three. But this is a um, twice repunch, so you can see a D over here and also a D on the west. But yeah, again, there's like that or northwest and east, so quite a lot there, very few seen. So I think this one would be a cool one to own. I could see it getting added to the FS, the cherry pickers, if there's a little more interest, but some super cool stuff to be on the search for. Um, again, it's not only going to be these three legged, the values only with the three legged, but then these are all fun things to cherry pick and you can really do nicely. Um, though you'll have to put a little bit of effort into taking it slow when you sell so that you can sell to the right buyer who's going to pay up for what are a very rare coin. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. I've also got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can follow me there. Um, TreasureTownYT.com is the main channel website. Definitely give that a visit. I've got a lot of information about me up there and the channel. Uh, CoinGrabBag.com as well currently redirects there, but it's some good opportunities for very fair grab bags, both made by me and other sellers. A lot of different options, so that's a good way to support. Um, there's also TreasureTownCoins.com. In the future, my coin dealing uh, operation will be done out of that website. Uh, CoinMeltPrice.com for updates on the melt prices of your coins, both U.S. and world. A lot of resources in that website. And then CoinsMetalsCards.com being developed right now as a marketplace and news source for coins, metals, cards, and collectibles in general. So I'll see you on my future videos. Looking forward to seeing you there and hope you have a good day.